Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Carolyn. Today we're here, finally back on Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I'm going to be discussing how to open your art place, and also everything you need to know about Red and Red's boat. I'll also be answering very common questions about Red. Let's get into today's video! If you're not sure who Red is, he is a fox that appears on your island. He appears on your island once every two weeks, so keep your eye out for him. If you still haven't unlocked Red yet, you have to visit your island one day after you've launched the updated version. You also need to have donated at least 60 bugs, fish, or even fossils to the museum. To find out if Red is on your island for the first time, Isabel will make an announcement saying some shady character is wandering around your island. Look all around your island because Red hides in very difficult spots to find. Where does Red's boat appear? Red's boat will be parked on a secret beach behind all of the cliffs. His boat should be green and white with a flag that has a dog on it, as you can see in the film right now. When you enter, you should see paintings and maybe even some furniture pieces. We'll get into all of that later. Are all the paintings real? No, not all of the paintings are real. Actually, most of the paintings are fake. Red's gonna try to scam you with a bunch of fakes. To find a real painting, I suggest using the internet. My favorite website to use would be animalcrossingworld.com. You can just use the link in the description below. The app compares the fake and the real painting. How many paintings can you buy in one trip to Red's boat? Well, when you visit Red's boat, you can only buy one every time. So be very careful with the painting you buy. But as you can see on the side, there's furniture. You can buy as much as that as you'd like. What can I do with the fake painting that I accidentally bought? Well, you cannot sell it at Nook's Cranny, but you can toss it away in a trash can. I used a pair, but this does work with the painting. When you check back, you can see that there's nothing left, or you can also hang it in your house. Now, let's talk about opening up your very own art place. To first open up your art place, you will need to donate the real painting you bought from Red all the way to Blathers. <laughs> if it's real, he'll take it and move it to the new art section in your museum. Of course, I don't have very much in my art section in my museum, but it's a work in progress. While you're in your museum, you should take a look around and try to find the painting or maybe the statue you just donated. This is the one I donated earlier in the video, and it was made by Leonardo da Vinci, which is pretty cool. You can read about it and everything. Super awesome, and yeah. If you didn't already know, some of the paintings are never fake, like the calm painting, common painting, dynamic painting, flowery painting, and many, many more. There are so many paintings that have no fakes to them, so I really suggest going on the internet, a website, and just looking up what paintings are never fake. So, some facts as well as some tips are all the pieces of art Red Cells is actually real life artwork. If you compare the two, it's super cool to look at the differences and the similarities. I would advise you to try and stay away from the guides from the version New Leaf because they're mostly outdated. I would use more recent guides or use the one that I linked in the description box down below. I would also like to add that the furniture red cells can be extremely overpriced. You could probably find cheaper furniture at Nook's Cranny if you look hard enough. But it kind of all depends on the piece of furniture Red is selling at that time. But if it's like a version of something, I wouldn't suggest getting it because it can be like a thousand dollars more. 
And that's everything you need to know. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a few new things about Red and Red's boat. I hope you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next week on Gaming with Carolyn. Bye!